Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Michelle Obama calls out military racism. This Marine's answer is devastating. A United States Marine didn't take too kindly to the former First Lady Michelle Obama stoking the fires of racial tensions while giving a speech at Tuskegee University. During the speech, Mrs. Obama used the platform to praise the Tuskegee Airmen of World War II, something all Americans can agree with. Then the speech took a very different direction, with the First Lady telling the student they should prepare to an onslaught of racism that will come their way, regardless of their success. Never one to miss an opportunity, Mrs. Obama made sure to talk about how she and the president were mistreated because of the color of their skin, it clearly couldn't be their ideology, right? Back when my husband first started campaigning for president, folks had all sorts of questions of me, what kind of first lady would I be? What kinds of issues would I take on? Would I be more like Laura Bush, or Hillary Clinton, or Nancy Reagan? And the truth is, those same questions would have been posed to any candidate's spouse. That's just the way the process works. But, as potentially the first African-American first lady, I was also the focus of another set of questions and speculations, conversations sometimes rooted in the fears and misperceptions of others. Was I too loud, or too angry, or too emasculating? Applause, or was I too soft, too much of a mom, not enough of a career woman? Conservative commentator Michelle Malkin summed it up best, saying, she's trying to identify with the struggle. It's very calculated, the statements that the First Lady makes. She's a master of this kind of social agitation. Many thought that it couldn't be said better, but one Marine took a shot and absolutely nailed it. Read the letter for yourself and share this if you're tired of politicians stoking the fires of racial tension for their own personal gain. It sickens me that I have to take time to write you this letter. I am a Marine who doesn't recognize color because every color has lived and died for you. You live in a free country to blame your life on the color of another man's skin. All colors have given their lives for an educated woman to have the freedom to be so ignorant. I don't blame black people for the ignorance that comes from your mouth. I love all colors because I love all that God creates. I don't have to like you to love you because we can't always like the ones we love. Just because I don't like you today doesn't mean I can't like you tomorrow. I don't like you or your husband today because of what you're doing to this country. Isn't it funny how the truth always reveals itself in time? You and your husband never showed this side of yourselves in 2008 before he was elected. You both live better than 99% of the people in this world because of this country. You said that you are for the first time proud to be an American. Well, I will tell you that most of us are ashamed of you. You and your husband have become millionaires off the people of this country, but demonstrate very little appreciation for all that we give. White, black, brown or indifferent millions have fought and died for you to have the freedom to say the ignorant things you say. You are educated, but clearly have very little common sense. You blame past generations of Americans for the troubles of a few. Stop blaming white people for your misery and take a look at yourself in the mirror. We are responsible for our own happiness and misery. The KKK is ignorance wrapped in a sheet while the Black Panthers are raised on ignorance and hate. No different from the teaching of Islam thinking their race is better than all other men. God is love and creates every color to include everyone's skin. To truly love God is to love all that He loves. For that I love each of you and pray that we all start taking responsibility for our own damned sins. Martin Luther King had a dream that we would all live in the Promised Land. He is not remembered for being black. He is remembered for the love and character he had within his heart. If you don't like this country get on that plane and never come back. I will stay here and love all Americans, regardless of skin. I will love the beauty of what God created and stand tall with my American friends. Not because of their color but for the character and love they carry within. This country doesn't owe you any more than it owes me. So many have thanked me for my service and I will always be grateful. I pray that one day you and your husband might cause me to be grateful for yours. You will never be remembered as the first lady of color but soon forgotten after you leave the White House. You nor your husband shall ever divide us. I wish you no harm, but pray you will take your troubles to a land you no longer hate. Hate shall come and go but his love shall last forever. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.